Holy Spirit. Let the utterances bring glory to your name. Back me up, Lord. Grant me even revelation beyond even these teachings. Let the heart, let somebody hear it, Lord, even in a different way because you work in an amazing way. Whatever is needed in somebody's life shall be heard that your name shall be glorified. I am appealing to you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Uh, as you know, we've been talking about this subject called uh, What Does the Bible Say About Dreams? Are you online? What Does the Bible Say About Dreams? Are we together? Amen. And then for those who have been here today, we are sharing part three. Hallelujah. Amen. You will get the essence, but for if you have missed one and two, uh, you can go on the Facebook page and follow uh, to get the details for one and two. Are we together? Amen. Today we are moving in, into part three. These things, as we say, we are taking it slowly and deal with all details. Because by the next time we come back to it, maybe it will be next year. Are we together? So we are wanting to exhaust this. We are not rushing it and cover it maybe in five Sundays uh, or so in Jesus' name. Amen. So today part three is about the categories of dreams. Hallelujah. Uh, Numbers chapter 12 verse 4. Numbers chapter 12 verse 4. It says, uh, it's also on the screen, suddenly the Lord said to Moses, Aaron and Miriam, come out, you three, to the tabernacle of meeting. So the, the three came out. This is a scripture in terms of when we read from verse 1, is uh, Miriam and Aaron were talking against Moses. Are we together? They were talking against Moses because Moses has married an Ethiopian woman. And now these two are talking the end is back on that matter. Now God has heard it. Now God is summoning these people now to come. So that's why we're reading verse uh, 4. He said they must come. Verse 5 says, Then the Lord came down in the pillar of cloud and stood in the door of the tabernacle and called Aaron and Miriam, and they both went forward. Remember, they are there. Now the two, he called the two to come forward. Then he said, verse 6, Hear now my words. If there is a prophet among you, I, the Lord, make myself known to him in a vision. I speak to him in a dream. In other words, when there is a servant of God, there is a prophet among you, one of the way I communicate with that prophet is through visions, is through dreams. One of the ways God communicates. Verse 7 says, So not so with my servant Moses. He is faithful in all my house. I speak with him face to face, even plainly, and not in dark sayings. So we are still now, we say, one of the way God now in his own sovereignty. He chose them to speak to Moses in a plain language. Though he said to the prophet, I reveal myself to them in vision or in a dream. So God chooses how he communicates, as we have said. And one of the ways he communicates is through dreams. One of the ways he communicates is going to be through vision. One of the ways he can communicate is going to be through plain language. One of the ways he can communicate is going to be through the audible voice of the Holy Spirit. Or he can communicate through prophecy. Or he can communicate through the preaching of the word of God. Or he can communicate through circumstances. So when things are happening to your life and you find them, they are weird. Some of those are communication of God. Or some of those God is wanting you to be aware of what the enemy is up to against your life. Are we together? So he can communicate anyway. And as we have said here before, the more you engage your prayer, you will see because most dreams are symbolism. They have got a lot of symbolism we have to need to decode in order to understand the message that God is delivering to you. However, when you engage more in prayer, you will see your dreams patterns start changing. They start changing from being a lot of symbolism into going into clarity. It says if it's moving from dreams to vision until you can even hear the voice of God and think, oh, is, is there anybody in the room saying it? When you hear it, as if you are hearing it with your natural ears. So, 
As we said, most dreams come with a lot of symbols that need to be decoded in order to understand the message that was delivered to you. Verse 8 says, I speak with him face to face. I speak with him face to face, even plainly, not in tax saying or in the message that is as it is called And you will see when you receive most dreams, they come like that. Are we together? But God has communicated. We don't need to wait for him to clarify before we take action. Are we together? So God can speak through dreams. And dreams, as we say, is that is your spirit being picking up portion of activity in the realm of the spirit when your body and your soul are inactive and at rest. Are we together? We say that in part one, that, that, that the communication comes to your spirit. You have your body, and you are a spirit person, you do have a soul, and you live in a house in order to function here on earth. And that house is called a body. When the body is at rest and the mind is at rest, the spirit is still alive because the spirit of a person does not die, nor does the spirit sleep. When the person is dead, the spirit leaves the body and goes to be with the Lord. If that person was a servant or was a believer of Jesus Christ, or it goes to hell if they have not accepted Jesus Christ one year on earth. Are we together? So the spirit is always alive there. When you are sleeping, you are picking up activities. Now when you start engaging in prayers, and a lot of prayer, even the midnight prayer that you might end up with this, in this series, is that because now your spirit is becoming aware of spiritual activities. Does it mean those dreams were not there? They were there. It's just you, you were not aware of them. But by prayer, now it's opened up to you to pick up activity that are happening, be it on God's side or on the evil side. Are we together? So dreams is one of the vehicles. It's your monitoring system. When you are sleeping, you are dreaming. It's just not for fun. Those are communication. Is God communicating? Or is God exposing you to see what the enemy is, is working against your life? So that in order for you to take action in the physical, are we together? Because you are picking up activity in the realm of the spirit. In that realm, there is, is not time bound. But when you are not doing any action in the physical, it's a matter of time what you saw to come to pass. Are we together? Now you are the one who can influence. Is it a godly thing? Let it come to pass. Is it a evil thing? Let it be stopped by the power of prayer in the name of Jesus. Are we together? As we said last Sunday, all dreams demand prayer. Is it a godly dream? Let it come to pass. Is it a evil dream? We stop it from coming to pass. And when there is no action, and two months, six months down the line, things happen. Now, it's only you to blame because the revelation was brought to you. Are we today? Okay. We are here to, for, for us to mature spiritually. And one of the things that will cause you to mature is to understand how the spiritual realm operates. Are we today? Even through dreams. So the first category of dream we call it godly or godly dreams or positive dreams. Are we together? Hallelujah. Amen. Now these dreams, they are called revelation concerning your purpose or somebody else's purpose when they come. The dreams, the godly dreams, they are there to bring encouragement. They are there to bring warning. Even here in the morning when I was sharing with the praise team that when I'm walking up, this is the song we're singing on the streets. We're going, we are dancing. I have never seen myself dancing like that. And how I saw it in the dream. Most people like that were following me and we are looking. At first we got lost. We were looking for direction. Now we find that, oh, when we go this way, we will turn. That's the street we are looking for. And we were singing this song by taking the uh, way. Trying this morning. Which one is it? Can you see? I don't know. Yeah, that song. I'm yeah. sure you've heard. That the song we're singing and walking on the street and dancing. Until we bet we got lost. We, now we say, okay, if we go this way, when we will find the street. So we're going. When we caught and find the street, then the dream ended. But it was a celebration. It means what you are looking for is in that state. So is God communication. Now it's for now to meditate and understand, God, what are you communicating? Are we together? 
So they come to bring encouragement. They can come to bring a warning. And I've shared here before one of the testimony in the past years. We have made the decision to do something. Now, on a, in the dream, in the week, one day, by myself in the house, I have a dream opening up. Now I am conversing with this person. We are sitting on the bench. He's talking to me. I can, uh, when he talks to me, I can't hear him. When I talk to him, he can hear me. When we are all sitting on the bench. Now for him to talk to me, to hear, I must stand upside down. Are you understanding the picture? My head must be on the floor, my feet up. Then when he talks, I hear us. When I'm in that position, when I talk to him, he can't hear. So I have to turn back to normal place, sit on the bed, talk to him, he hears. When he says something, I can't hear. Wait a minute, let me turn. What is that? God is giving me a warning that indeed you have made the decision, but this person wants to manipulate you out of that decision. Are you together? And that was only true. Now, come Sunday, the person somehow he has suffered, now he sent the wife. The same thing he was saying to me in the dream. That the same thing my wife, his wife, is saying to me to convince me to take me out of the decision I have already made. Mm -hmm. So what? What is the message? God has already communicated. The godly dream has come, has come as a warning. Then in that case, no, they are here, but nicely I refuse to accept them taking me out of the decision that we made through the warning. Of that revelation. Oh, How we do it? Because turning upside down it means I am, is manipulating me into something. Hence, mm -hmm. so when I talk to them, I'm in a natural way, but when they talk to me, I must be upside down. What does that mean? I am manipulating. Is the reverse. How we do it? Mm -hmm. But it's a godly dream that has come as a warning for you to act. And last week we read Matthew chapter 2 from verse 12 going down. Uh, the, the, the God has divinely warned the wise men not to return via Herod, because Herod's plan is to go and kill the baby Jesus. So they went another way. He, he warned them in a dream. And then when they had gone, he came again and warned Joseph in a dream, take the child, go and run to Egypt until I give you a word. His plain language, you execute the communication from God as come. But when you are not executing what has come, then you must bear also the consequences because God has warned, has brought the warning. Are we together? Yeah. God is forbearing, but we don't want to say, let me wait until the third chance. You don't know if he's going to speak three times on the same month yeah. when he has spoke once. Are we together? Yeah. So these dreams, they bring revelation. Sometimes they bring revelation with regard to the past, the present, the future. You can be wondering why are things happening to my life in this way. One day you are sleeping, you have a dream, revealing something of the past and showing you that indeed what you're going through is because of that. It can come. It can come being spoken as a word of knowledge, but you can also receive it in a dream by something that has happened in the past that is causing what is going on currently. Are we together? So, Godly dream can come and bring revelation. The other characteristic with regard to the Godly dream is that they are in agreement with the word of God. Remember, they are the revelation from the Holy Ghost, as we read from uh, Acts chapter 2 in the first session that I will, will pour out his spirit and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, young men shall see vision, old men shall, uh, shall dream dream. It means these are the operations. It's the Holy Ghost communicating. However, he can't communicate something to you that is opposing the word of God. And those revelations are in agreement with the word of God. And number three, one in the dream is a positive thing. This is a key thing. One in the dream, the feeling is positive. You are not scared. You are not fearful. You are not anxious. You are not being chased. You are not afraid. When the, the feeling is positive, one in the dream, those are the indication of a godly dream. Are we today? The feeling is what? Positive. One in the dream, not when you are waking up. It can continue like that, but one in the dream. The feeling is positive. And you can see, I'm just going to explain Genesis 37, verse 5 and 11. God bringing a, a revelation about what Joseph will be, how he's going to raise him to a place of preeminence. That thing came through dreams, and the dream was not plain, it was coded. And in the field, my sheep is rising, your sheep are bowing. 
And God again communicated the second time to give assurance that indeed what I am saying shall be so. And he brought again another dream to indicate the same message but using different symbols. The sun, the moon, and 11 stars are bowing to this one star. Now the sun, the moon representing the mother, the father, and the 11 stars, the 11 brothers are all bowing. He will be raised to a place of preeminence and this other one will bow. And it was so when they got to Egypt years later that the fulfillment came. I will raise you to a place of preeminence. It was so. I went to it. But how did the communication come? It was through dream. Did Joseph has to wait for prophecy or for any other method? No. If God bring additional way of communicating, his member is up to himself. He chooses. Like the way he said, I choose to speak to them in vision in one day and dream. But to Moses, I chose to speak plainly. Of which even now he does speak. But as you continue engaging in spiritual activity, you will see there is changes of pattern of how God communicates with you. How it will be. Godly dreams. So example, oh, we'll come back as well to them later. For example, as I gave given an example, you can be on a harvest on a field or grab the harvesting ripe fruit. When the fruit are ripe, when you are harvesting ripe fruit, then you know this is a godly dream. But if the, 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 the fruit are rotten, then you know there is an evil manipulation with regard to the harvest or the opportunity or the breakthrough you have been trusting God for. Yeah. Are we together? Amen. Because the situation is abnormal in the dream. Are we together? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We'll come back to this. Let's explain the other category quickly. The next one, we say dreams from the mind. These dreams is because you are preoccupied over something for an extended period of time. Or the whole day you are worried about this thing. After every 30 minutes, they worry about that thing comes. After every 30 minutes, they worry about that thing comes. Now the whole day, the next day, there is a possibility on day number three, when you are sleeping, your subconscious starts replaying those worries. Are we today? Mm -hmm. Then that dream is not a common dream, is never an attack of the enemy, is your mind waking. Are we together? And giving you, replaying to you what you have been worried about throughout the day or throughout that particular time. Are we together? Amen. And the scripture there says, Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 3, for a dream comes through much activity. Other version is saying the cause of abundance of occupation. I am worried about this thing. I am worried about this thing. Mm -hmm. I am worried about this thing. Now the possibility is when you sleep, the worry now again is showing up in the day. That dream is coming from your mind. It's neither from God or from the enemy. Mm -hmm. Are we together? Amen. That's when you wake up, oh, I have been worried about this thing for two days as it has kicked in. Mm -hmm. Through, as if, uh, uh, as through dreams. But that dream is not a godly dream, neither a bad dream. Is your mind replay? So he says so much activity. And the other scripture that supports it is Isaiah 29 verse 7. It says, The multitude of all the nations will fight against Ariel. Even all will fight against her and her fortress and, and distress her shall be as a dream of a night. Verse 8. It shall be even as when a hungry man dreams, and look, he eats. But when he awakes, and his soul is still empty. Or as when a thirsty man dreams, and look, he drinks. But when he awakes, in, and indeed he is faint, and his soul is still clear. So the multitude of the nation shall be who fight against Mount Zion. Now God giving you a warning about those people who fight Mount Zion. It shall be like a dream like that. Now he give an example. He illustrated. He says like a man who is hungry and he's dreaming that he's eating. When he wakes up, oh, it was a dream. And it has happened before. You are craving for this chocolate and you can't get it. Even when we're children, you sleep like this. You find yourself eating that chocolate mm. in the dream. Why? Because that's what you were thinking about. Then that thing continues when you are sleeping. How it gets. And then it becomes like a dream. 
and then, or you are drinking something, this is in the context of the mind because you have been thinking about it, you go to bed and wake up, then it appears. How it is. And later on, when we go, there are dreams of eating things which is activity of the enemy to plant sicknesses or evil things into the lives of people represented in them eating. Are we together? Amen. Which will deal as we continue. So these dreams comes because of much preoccupation over something during the day or over a period of time. And when I sleep now, the subconscious kicks in, repeating what you have been craving or thinking about it and represented as a dream. That dream is a dream of the mind. It's not from God, nor from the devil. Are we to Amen. And category number three, we say they are evil or bad dreams. Evil or bad dreams. Let's explain first through the scripture. Zechariah chapter 10 verse 1 says, Ask the Lord for rain. It's on the screen as I'm reading. Ask the Lord for rain in the time of the latter rain. The Lord will make flashing clouds. He will give them showers of rain, grass in the field for everyone. Verse 2 says, For the idols speak delusion. The diviners envision lies and tell false dreams. They comfort in vain, therefore the people went their way like sheep. They are in trouble because there is no shepherd. Now he is revealing even the work of darkness also can bring dreams to their people. And those dreams, it says if they are giving hope, but in the end is to lead the person astray. How it will now, in the same way, now he operates through sending negative dreams into the lives of the people. You are exposed to negative dreams. You are exposed to evil dreams, bad dreams, or ugly dreams, or weird dreams, strange dreams. All of those things. Now, as you have said here before, one must take action. Because those dreams, some of them may recur, as you will see later. It as if they are coming for your good, but it's not for your good, it's to lead you astray. And the way they lead astray, it says if the people do not have a shepherd. Now, by bringing this counsel, is for you to be aware and mature as we are all maturing in the spiritual thing, so that I know what to do when the evil dreams has appeared. Are we together? Are we together? So, evil dreams or bad dreams, they are dreams that reveal. What the enemy is up to against your life or the lives of the others. How it It can be a dream about you or somebody else, but what the enemy is up to, that's what your spirit being is speaking up when your body and your soul are at rest. How it will Now those dreams, when they come, they, 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 when, whether they are coded or in a plain language, when they understand what's happening, they are contrary to the promises of God over your life. And number three characteristics of them, the feeling one in the dream is negative. Are we dream? And somebody is afraid. I had a nightmare. I wake up, I'm afraid. It's not the godly dream. Are we dream? I, I was fearful in the dream. The animal was biting me. I was running. It's not the evil dream. I was being attacked. It's not the uh, godly dream. I was being chased. I ran away in the dream until I wake up. It's not the godly dream. Why? Because the feeling in the dream is negative. The reason it's negative is that your spirit does not agree with what is happening. Are we clear? In the same way, in the godly dream, your spirit being is agreeing with what God is saying. Because it's a revelation from God, and your spirit is a born again spirit, meaning there is a, the, the, the Holy Ghost is residing in you. Hence, your spirit is agreeing with that dream through a positive feeling, one in the dream. This one you are not agreeing because the spirit that is bringing this is not a godly spirit. As your spirit is rejecting, expressed through the negative feelings while in the dream. Are we together? This slide is key. The other one and this one are key. It's summarizing. When I wake up, is this dream? Was there a negative feeling? Was there, is what has happened here, is it contrary to the word of God? Is this, a, this is a, God cannot do such a thing to me. Then I know it's not a godly dream. Are we together? For example, I am sleeping. While I am asleep, I am asleep. I am dreaming. I am dreaming my grandmother or my aunt who is long past. But now they are in my dream and I'm interacting with them. 
Then already you know it's not a godly dream. Why? Number one, it's against the word of God. Bible says those who are dead do not have partition with the living. Yeah, are we together? So they cannot interact with the living while them they are dead. Are we together? Amen. So you know already it's an indication. Number two, what's going on? The evil powers are utilizing a familiar space so that they may win your confidence in order for you to agree to what's happening. Are we together? That's why when you hear somebody was called a Sangoma who was going to the mountain, one of the experiences that happened is this one. When they are asleep, the grandfather appeared who has died 10 years ago and he keep on appearing in the dream and calling them to do something. Then they realize because uh, the grandfather was good to me. So when he's saying this is true, then the person goes to the mountain and they are initiated as a Sangoma. And when you get what has happened, it started its own dreams. Because the evil one is can't come by himself with horns because you will recognize. Mm. So he has to hide beyond a face that is familiar to you. Hence they are called familiar spirit. The face that is familiar to you in order for you to gain to warm up to that person in the dream. Mm. Are we together? When you are warm up to the person in the dream, it's like you are green. And the more you warm up, you will end up doing it if you're not recognizing that this is a negative and an evil dream. Are we together? If you find out the people who have been initiated who maybe have come back to the Lord, they will tell you, I will see my grandmother coming. Mm -hmm. But the way my grandmother took care of me, no, I have to accept what she said. Mm -hmm. Because naturally when she was alive, she took care of me nicely. So there is no way she's on the other side. She will mislead me. So hence I obey to the instruction. But it's not a good instruction. It's a evil one. Mm -hmm. Are we together? Mm -hmm. Hiding as a familiar face. Are we together? Mm -hmm. Dreams that you see ripped and or, or wild animals, whatever the representation of the animal, wanting to bite, wanting to change, is not a godly dream. Because as you are afraid, you are even running, you are trying to push your feet, the snake not to bite you, or the crocodile not to do this, or the bird you are chasing. Well, you are not warming up. You are not in a dream. The feeling is not positive one in the dream in showing you that you are resisting this and an indication of a negative work of darkness, working against. Are we together? Then the characteristics, when we go probably next Sunday, the characteristics of that animal is an indication of what the type of the evil power that is fighting you. Are we together? And sometimes it can come as a snake, or it can come as a bird, or it can come as a, as, a, as a reptile, or any other animal, or as a cat. For you, through the symbolism of that animal, to know what is against me, so that my response also is accordingly. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, so these are the dreams in terms of category godly or positive dreams. Dreams that come from your mind, your subconscious, because of preoccupation of thinking over the same thing for a, a certain period of time. Or evil dreams, or bad dreams. And by evil dream, bad dream, I'm mean including all of these nightmare, weird dreams. Dreams that you wake up, you are scared. Dreams that you wake up, you are sweating, even if it's winter. Those dreams, those are evil dreams. What the enemy is up to against your life or the life of the other person, depending on the scenario in that dream, to show what the enemy is fighting against. Are we together? Mm -hmm. So these dreams do not come from God. Now, such dreams, before we talk, uh, summarize on this, such dreams are negative, uh, the, the evil and whatever, they are not godly dreams, they are negative from the evil. However, what was delivered, one key thing you need to have, is not absolute. What you are encountered in the tree is not absolute. Whether you lost somebody, or whether you were beaten, or whether you were being chased, whether you were being shot at, is not absolute. However, you not taking it as a call to action is a matter of time what you saw to manifest in the physical. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to repeat. When you have encountered such in a dream and there is no corresponding action in the physical, it is a matter of time for that thing to manifest. Because God is exposing you 
to what the enemy is up to. Remember, in the spiritual realm, there is no time, but it's a matter of time for it to manifest. Are we together? So, hence, when you have an evil dream, it's a call to action. You have to utilize the authority that God gave you to cancel what He has shown, He has exposed you to. Are we together? When you are not doing anything, that thing shall come to pass, unfortunately. Are we together? So when you, now we are, we are talking, it means when you have a negative dream I bet you, and there is nothing you have done about it, don't say the shepherd. The shepherd has done his job by delivering to you the message and say it is a warning. Make action and take action against that. Are we together? I gave you an example here with another lady sometimes back. She had a dream on the same spot at a particular intersection here, the car was stolen. A year later, at the same spot, having a own car was a child in the same way it was a child in the dream a year earlier. Because when that revelation happened, there was no action taken in the physical. Now, whether it's by ignorance or not, it's because you are busy, you can't take care of what has been revealed. Remember, the enemy does not play jokes. So neither can you. Are we today? The only language you understand is by that. So when that thing has been revealed, there must be corresponding action in the physical to counter what has been revealed. Because the power of spiritual prayer and prayer, warfare prayer is to stop the doings of the enemy from manifesting in the physical. And you and I have that power. Behold, I give you the authority to trample on Satan and Scorpio and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Now, when you are hurt, it means the authority given to you was not exercised when the enemy plan was revealed to you. Hallelujah. Amen. As we have said, every dream demands prayer. The negative one is for it not to come to pass. It shall not stand, neither come to pass in the name of Jesus. And that is done by prayer. My brother and sisters, don't be too busy to deal with these things when they are in the way. And in our walk with God, somehow when this revelation are coming, is by the same time where you are busy in the physical. Are we together? Because the enemy knows also you are busy. He's trying also to take a chance for you not to act on it so that it happens. Are we together? Then there must be prayer, corresponding prayer to defeat what was revealed in the name of Jesus. Amen. So as soon as you wake up, the godly dream, the evil dream must be dealt with. So we have godly dreams. They are revealing God's purpose or God's plan and bringing the message to you. Number two, the characteristic is in agreement with all your God. Number three, the feeling one in the dream is positive. Are we together? You may see, for instance, you are dreaming, you are driving a car, your own car. Then the indication is a positive dream. Is showing you in charge of your life. By being in charge, it does not mean God is outside. Mm -hmm. You are in charge in the sense that the enemy is not the one controlling your life. Are we together? And you are the one driving the car. Mm -hmm. Positively. Mm -hmm. Are we together? Now, in the three different passage, now the second question comes Who was the driver of the car? Mm -hmm. Are we together? Mm -hmm. Now, if you are married, you are in good relationship with the husband. And you, the husband was the one driving. The Lord delivering to you the message that is in control over your life. Are we together? Through the symbolism of the husband. Because the husband is the head of the wife as Christ is the head of the church. Remember, dreams are bringing symbolism. Are we together? Now, if you are a single person or whatever, but is your parent, when there is a good relationship, the relationship is harmonious in the physical, it can be also a message. Of the Lord showing that is in control of the life of that person. Are we together? Amen. Through that image of that of the, the father or the mother or the husband. Are we together? Amen. And he's giving you that positive message. Now, if the relate now, if it's a stranger, the person you do not know, then it's a call to action. Because your car, one of the symbolism of your car is a representative of you when you are dreaming. When you see your car, it is you. When you are dreaming, when you see your house, it is you. Are we together? What's happening to the house? Are we together? 
Even the activity when I'm in the house, I was dreaming I'm in the house. The next question I will ask you, where in the house were you? Were you in the bedroom or were you in the living room? Because that also represents something. Were you in the bathroom or were you in the children's room? And what is a representation? Are we together? Amen. All three things. Hallelujah. Amen. Dreams. Are you seeing your pastor praying for you? Or is giving you a Bible verse? Or is giving you these scriptures? Is a symbolism. Because this one, as if it's genuine, representative of Jesus Christ, the Lord is the one conveying the message to you, Amen. utilizing the symbol. Because he knows when you look, you is bringing the symbol of your pastor, you know, you understand that indeed this is the one is the shepherd that preaches, that bringing the counsel, the word of God. So God is utilizing the face of the pastor to bring the message to you. How it here. That's why when you come past, I had the dream you were giving me Psalms 23. I don't, the pastor will say, I can't even remember when last I read Psalm 23. How it here. Because God was just using the image to bring the message to you. How it here. God made dreams. One of who will deal with mostly some of these dreams next week as well. The other dream on the godly dreams, please take note and hear careful. When you are in the dream and then you are fighting over something or, or you are fighting a creature or another person, depending on the representation, and you kill the person, one in the dream is a positive dream. One in the dream, not physically. When you kill physically, it's just time. <laughs> and some insisting, one in the dream. Are we together? You may be like you are fighting over something, things are not working out, and there is every time a roadblock, you are trying this, nothing works. You try this, nothing, it moves a little bit. Then you have this dream, you are fighting with this creature. Then you have the power to take even the sword and kill this. God is bringing whatever the resistance over what you have been praying has been defeated. So it's a matter of time in the physical for you to experience the breakthrough. It's a positive dream. Are we today? Amen. Now, these are the characteristics of positivity. But let us also on some of the negative dreams. I have talked about interacting with dead people or being beaten by reptiles or this one animals. Remember we have said last week and I'm saying it again, how do you interpret dreams? Especially those that are not playing. For you who are here. And some of you are not here. You take the dream in the physical. To understand what does these circumstances in the dream means physically. Mm. So that when you understand the message physically. Then that's the spiritual meaning of that message. Are we together? Mm. You understand what is the physical circumstances of what you saw. What does it mean physically? When you have the understanding of what it means physically, that's the spiritual meaning of what the message being delivered to you. Are we together? Amen. And we look at the example of the dream of Pharaoh the other time. John's Pharaoh, the two dreams, the other one, the cones, rising, rise, nice cones, nice cones, seven of them. And then after seven of them, there are seven other cones which are thin, but these seven thinner ones are coming to eat up this one. And you say, when does the corn come when you are harvesting symbolism of every year? Year one, year two, year three, seven years. After seven years, another seven years comes through the symbolism of those thinner ones. But this one are coming to eat up this. It means the one who come later is going to be a drought than the one that came previous. How we to get Understanding the, the physical circumstances around the dream in order to have the spiritual meaning of it. Are we together? Amen. Dreams. Children are here. Adults will understand. Dreams of intimacy. We eat in Sometimes it can bring the image of a person that you know. Because it is the work of the enemy. Because as I say, when he appears, you know this is the, the your spirit will reject. For you to warm up as it's represented through a person that you may know. And the symbolism of that. But it is the work of the enemy to come and steal, to 
come and cause them, let not be impact in what this people or this person is doing in the land and is stolen away. That the one when, when all of a sudden you are preparing for interview, you are preparing for proposal, there is an attack like this, like that. It is the work of the evil one to steal that thing away from you. Now, if there are no corresponding action to reject that, and some of those it's brought even with prayer and fasting, then that thing falls away. Then the company says, no, they have changed their mind. We can't, can no longer issue this thing. No, because spiritual, it has already been manipulated and diverted through the interaction in the prayer. Are we today? When those things happen, they must be rejected. That's why when it comes up, people will say, wow. Well, after it happened, I felt dirty. I felt like it weird. They say, yes, because it's an evil attack that has happened. Now, you can't just sit and say, it just happened. Maybe it's biological. It's not biological. It's the work of darkness to steal, to frustrate, to block somebody from them not progressing. Are we today? We'll come back to this next Sunday. The other type of dream is a dream of seeing yourself in your previous setup. Mm. Wait here. Mm. I am preparing for interview and the week leading up to interview when I dream, I mean back in my primary school. It's my previous setup. When I dream, I am back home where I grew up. It's my previous setup. What is the work that the enemy is wanting to pull the person to stagnate, to stay where you are and not to move forward? But it has come as you are here now, you are in Jobek while you sleep, you are at the primary school in Kezadeh where you were. Mm. It's showing you God is exposing you to what the enemy is fighting. Now when you know in the natural, I am targeting this increase, or I am targeting this position, or there is this thing that I am targeting, and all the requirement, they meet what I do. And all of a sudden these dreams start coming. There is what the enemy is wanting to fight to ensure you stay where you are. You can't progress. How it will. So your response in the natural is call to action to fight what the enemy is planning. Remember, when there is no corresponding action, it's a matter of time for that thing to happen. Hallelujah. There must be corresponding action. So the dream must be cancelled. This is just one of the examples. I am not prescriptive. I am giving an example. When the negative dreams happen, they must be cancelled. I cancel the big dream I just had, where I find myself in my primary school in Kesedeh, where I left 20 years ago. I do not belong here. I belong in Chile. So by divine authority, I cancel that. I declare in the name of Jesus that that dream of backwardness of being stopped shall not stand in my life, neither come to pass in the physical. In Jesus' name, I am to be neutralizing my divine authority. Are we together? Amen. And I continue. Oh, let your power. I am showing you some of the work I do. Is an example. Let your power be so every satanic actor in that dream represented as if my own teacher. That's not my teacher. So that that actor be destroyed by your power in the name of Jesus. If it was animal, let that animal be destroyed by the power of God in the name of Jesus. I do not belong there. The enemy cannot steal this away in the name of Jesus. And else for I declare there be known in the spiritual realm. That nothing shall trouble me, for I bear on my mind the marks of the Lord Jesus Christ. I bear on my body the marks of the Lord Jesus Christ. The scripture in Galatians. Thereafter, if it was backwardness, then I declare now, I can't end it there. Now I must confess what the Bible says about me. I am fruitful, so I am increasing. My business shall prosper. The harvest that the enemy is trying to manipulate shall not work. I shall harvest in the name of Jesus. My fruit in the land shall come in the what well, I am declaring now the promises of God in opposition to what the enemy is trying to fight. Amen. In Jesus' name. Are we together? Every dream demands prayer. And we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Two not before we end today's session. Dream me a particular dream frequently and consistently. Especially during a season where you are trusting God for a major breakthrough, a decision, you want to make a major decision in life, uh, a business deal, job, career. All of a sudden, if the negative dreams are start repeating, 
That's what the enemy is fighting. It's a call to action. Are we together? You must take action and fight. Canceling it. When there is persistence, you must also up the gear. It's no longer prayer. It's become prayer and fasting. Are we together? That's why you call. I am calling two days of prayer and fasting. On your own, what are you dealing with? The resistance of the enemy over this. What are you calling? I am calling for prayer to ensure what God has consistently revealed with regard to my life. And it does not happen. Let it come to pass in Jesus' name. If it's a God vision. Then the prayer, I am not thinking the physical. What God has revealed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And then the last second point is that don't only cancel the negative things, but also deal with what is the cause. When there is constant repetition of that dreams. Same message, it can come different fashion. When it's constantly happening, are we dreaming? Constantly happening when you dream, you are back home. Next week, when you dream, you are back home. When you dream, you are at your school. When you dream, it means there is consistency in the dream of previous setup. So it's not only counseling. Now we to find that God, what is causing this? Is it things coming from the bloodline? Or is it things that I might have done? Or is it just an attack of the enemy? So that I respond accordingly for that thing to cease in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. A dream can be negative. But if it ends in victory, one in the dream is a victorious dream. Amen. Understand? A dream can come negative. Like it can be a negative thing coming to fight. But when it ends in the dream victoriously, then it's a positive dream. How it here? Like two weeks ago or three weeks ago, I think the friend we were going to read on this first. And the dream in the house, now I find myself I can't turn toward my wife. The way the door was opened before, it's like the door is like that in the dream. And there is this evil person standing by the door, wanting to enter. But somehow they can't enter the bedroom door, but the bedroom is open. How we here? Now me, I am struggling to wake up. They may know that this is a negative thing, it's an evil attack against whatever they are trying to come and attack. But they can't enter because they, I don't know what is blocking them, but the door is open. You see the door is open, the person is there, but they can't get here. How it you And the dream ended, them not being able to enter. Remember, it was an attack, but they didn't succeed in what they were coming to fight or to destroy. How it is? What in the dream? When we wake up, they couldn't enter from the, by the door. Though the door was open. And the key thing is for God to have shown that the door is open, but the person can't enter. And that the same way the door was before we went to bed. And we even when we wake up from the, the door still like that. But now in the physical day, person or the creature is not there, but they were there in the dream, wanting to enter, but they can't enter. Are we together? It, then it ended positive. When you are sleeping, there are communications that are happening which are revealed to you, be it in a dream or in a vision. Are we together? And then it's for you to take action. Is it a godly dream led by prayer that they come to pass? Is it a negative dream led by prayer? Divine authority be cancer from manifesting in the physical in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. It's time up. In the name of Jesus. This is the two prayer in the two ministry that left with that we go to do. Prayer number one. By this revelation, any negative thing that you have had shall not stand in the come to pass in the name of Jesus. Prayer number two. May God utilize your dream life for divine revelation, for divine information when you have a dream. As we are saying in part one, our seeking of God in the New Testament dispensation is through his word and prayer. However, when God responds, it can be through many channels, dreams, prophecy, his written word, revelation coming from dreams and vision. Now what we are saying when you have having dreams, let it be for divine information in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Shall you rise up on your feet for these two prayer items as you pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah.